is Aisha of Aisha Designed It and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I am going to be showing you how to supplement on socks. Actually, these are silly socks. I purchased them from Heat Transfer Warehouse and I bought some, I bought a pair for myself as well as my husband and my kids. All right, so these are the colors that I purchased. I purchased purple and I purchased two pinks. I purchased a red one, which is in a large size, and I also purchased a large um, blue, of course, for my husband. All right, so what I'm going to be doing with these, I'm going to be using my Epson 2760 Supplementation Printer that I converted into Supplementation. I'm going to be using my ASAP paper, which is, let me show you this ASAP paper that I use right here. This is the 8 by 5, 8, uh, eight and a half by 11 ASAP paper. All right, so all of this will be linked in the description box below. All right, in case you want to purchase it, I'm going to be using my heat press. Um, I already told you about my supplementation printer. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the design that I'm going to be using. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, let's go. All right, everyone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and open my socks. I think I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with one, one of my twins. I'm going to start with the pink top, and I'm just going to open it up. And what I'm going to do, I am going to get the measurements because I'm just going to, um, I'm going to supplement just this top part here. I'm going to leave this part pink, okay? I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to put anything here on this side. All right, so I'm going to go in Canva, and I am going to design my own uh, design like I always do. And they said they wanted um, Santa Claus and Rudolph okay on both of them so i have two two socks um i don't have i don't have the jig um i think it's called the jig or the no the insert the sock insert that inserts in here um so i'm gonna try to do it without it i was thinking about maybe using like some cardboard or something hard in it but i'm not sure about that i'm just going to go ahead and supplement it as is all right so let's go in canva and design the Santa Claus and the Rudolph. All right, everyone. So here I am in Canva, as you see right here. And I've added Santa Claus and I've added Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I absolutely love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. One of my favorites. And I have went and sized the socks to 3.75 inches by 6.75 inches, okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and arrange it um, here on this um here and i'm going to um place it the way i want to place it so that when it comes out it'll come out with the design on this you know when i place it on the sock all right so i just wanted to show you this all right and if you want to look up santa claus or rudolph or any other type of um anything else you just go right here to where it says template and then you just type in just say santa Claus. Oh, I said the wrong. Santa Claus. All right, and you press it. And make sure you go to where it says elements. Right now I'm on templates. You don't want that. You will go to where it says um elements. So pretty much I have to type it in again. I'm just gonna go to Rudolph because it's right here. Santa Claus is right there too. All right, so you just click on where it says see all. You can go to all where you see all graphics, photos, videos, and etc. Or you can go just to graphics, photos, videos. All right. It's totally up to you. I always like to go to where it says graphics. All right. Therefore, you can go and pull out whatever it is that you want. Or you can go to photos. Okay. All right. So that's what I want to show you. All right, everyone, so here is Santa Claus and the elves. My twins decided to say elves instead of Rudolph. So now I'm going to go ahead and be printing this on my Epson 2760. All right, so I'm going to be using, that is my supplementation printer that I converted. So I'm going to go here to share, go down to download. I'm going to go to SSPNG, go down to PDF print. All right, so I'm going to download this and um, wait till it come out and then I'm gonna print it on my Epson 2760. All right, everyone, so my design has printed out and all I did was just add some Santa Claus and some, um, 
some elves on here. All right, so I'm gonna take my, my scissors and just cut around. I don't need this white part um, here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it, cut around it. And just make sure you do not cut your design. All right, so this is how I'm gonna do mine. Just trim all of that away. All right, so now here are the socks right here. And I'm just going to just place it down. I have my heat tape over there by my heat press. And this fits really, really well, okay? So I absolutely love the way this fits. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is how it fits. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape it down when I go by my heat press. I'm gonna go ahead and um, do my other sock. I have two socks. I was gonna do the back, but I'm just gonna do the front of these, okay? I may do the back of my husband's, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what, um, how to press these, all right? All right, everyone, so here are my socks and I am heating up my, this is my heat press. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I have this lint roller, and remember all of these items will be in the description box as well as my heat gloves and heat tape, all right? I have heat tape, and I also have my, um, trying to find it, my butcher paper right here, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll my socks, and remember, lint rolling is just to help remove any, um, you know, any lint or anything that you may have on your socks before you sublimate on it. All right. And I'm gonna be doing that. And I'm just gonna take my design. Remember this design is for my twins, so they wanted Santa and Elves. So I'm just gonna take it and, um, pull that little piece off. Just take it and place it here on the sock, just like so. And I'm going to try to cover the entire top part of the sock. All right, and now I'm going to take my heat tape and just um, take down my image here on the sock, okay? Just like this. And this heat tape, you know, you use it just to keep your, um, your design from shifting or moving because once you, um, once it shifts or moves, it could actually cause ghosting and you don't want that. <clears throat> All right, so that's why I'm just using that to, you know, to keep this down on um, the sock, like so. And I'm gonna do the same for this sock. I'm gonna let my heat press, I'm heating it up to 350 for 60 seconds, all right? All right, so I just tore off some of the butcher paper. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place the butcher paper on top of my sublimation design, just like this. Right, make sure everything is pressed down. I have my heat press on 350 for 60 seconds. Let me bring it down just a little bit because I want to make sure everything is pressed right. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and press it for 60 seconds. All right, everyone. So as you see, the design is showing through. Uh-oh, and I dropped one on the floor. I can just show you now. The design is showing through the paper, and that normally means that it took very well. So it's not hot anymore. So let's go ahead and take it off and see how it did. So let me bring in a little closer. All right, so let's go ahead and take it off and see how it looks. All right, y'all ready for the big reveal? All right, let's check it out. Ooh, that looks amazing. Look at there. That is so beautiful. Look how the colors are showing up on here, on this sock. See all of the colors off of here, all of the, the colors in the design came off. Look at here, y'all. I might go ahead and do the opposite side of this, but that is gorgeous, look. All right, so let's do the other side. Let's see how the other side took. That one did great. All right, so let's check this one out. Look at here, y'all. 
That is absolutely gorgeous. This is absolutely amazing. So here's some more Christmas ideas that you can give for Christmas gifts. I know Christmas is coming up pretty quick, but this is another gift that you can give. My twins said they wanted Santa and the elves on it. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go and print out another one and put it on the back side. All right. I want it on the, the opposite side also. But I just wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to do with my husband's socks. Okay. All right, everyone. So here are the socks that I made for my husband. My phone had went out, so I had to delete some of my videos in order to get more storage on my phone. Sorry about that, but I went ahead and pressed, um, my husband loves football, so I went ahead and pressed um, the design, the football design on his sock, and I did the double size on this one, all right? So here are the socks, and they turned out absolutely amazing, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next. All right, everyone, so now I am going to be pressing my socks, and I got the red pair of socks. So I have my lint roller, which I'm going to be rolling, uh, lint rolling these socks just to get any lint or anything off of it. All right. And I have also my butcher paper. And now I'm going to be using these designs, um, the Hello Kitty designs. I love Hello Kitty. All right. So as you can see right here, I'm going to be pressing these on my sock. And I'm going to be doing both sides. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to try to do the full sock. Um, I think I cut it too short, but I'm just going to try to get it um, in the middle. Okay. All right. So we're going to get it kind of in the middle here, just as long as it covers majority of my sock. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this down. Go ahead and tape it. All right, everyone, so I have went ahead and taped down my design. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my butcher paper and just put it, place it over um, the design. Remember, the butcher paper just protects the bottom of your heat press as well as the top. All right, so I have it set at 350 for, uh -oh, for 60 seconds, and I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, go ahead and press it. All right. All right, so as you see, the design came through. Uh-oh, my sock. So we're gonna go ahead and take it off and just look and see how it turned out. All right, you ready for the big reveal? All right, so this is one side of the sock. Oh, it is so beautiful, look. Look at that, now these are my socks. All right, super cute, y'all. Look at this. Y'all better go get y'all some silly socks. All right. Now let's put it down. All right, y'all. So these are the socks that I've made so far. These are my Hello Kitty socks. I did front and back. These are the socks that I did for one of my twins with the Santa Claus and the elves. And I got to do the back of those. And these are the socks that I made for my husband with the football because he loved football. And I did front and back. Front and back. Now I have two more to go. <coughs> All right, so this is the designs that I just made on Canva, and this is going to be for my other twins' um, sock. All right, it's absolutely beautiful. As you see, that's how my other twins' sock look. All right, everyone, so here's my socks that I made. Here is the Santa Claus socks with the L's, the Rudolph and the uh, L's for my twin. Here's the Santa in the L's for my other twin. Here's the design that I did for my daughter and she graduated, so I just put her pictures on these socks. Here's my socks with the Hello Kitty and here's the socks that I did for my husband, which is football, all right? Again, these are silly socks and I got them for Heat Transfer Warehouse. All right, I thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.